Hey, what's up friends? It's Amflake here once again and welcome back to the channel. So I believe everybody on earth actually, they have um, some things that is their main focus in life. For me, it's medicine. For some other people, it's laws. For some people, it's engineering. For some people, it's accounting, banking and finance and all of that. But apart from these things that actually are main focus in life, I believe every single person has something else apart from this main focus that kind of interests them. I have a lot of friends here who are poets, uh, who love to cook, some love to dance and for me apart from medicine I actually love technology and to be very honest there's actually a lot of aspects or branches under technology but to me I actually love the technology of devices and what I'm about to talk about today space travel <laughs> I believe a lot of people there today, even watching this video, have something different apart from what is your main focus that actually interests you. You can drop it down in the comment section below. We can actually talk about it. If I see anyone very fascinating and I'm ready to learn about it, I'll actually make a video about it. Do make sure you drop it down in the comment section below. So firstly, I'm going to start with the history. And the first thing I'm actually going to talk about is the first man that landed on the moon. And this is actually Neil Armstrong in the year 1969. But was he the only one that landed on the moon? No, it was also with Michael Collins. There were actually three people in that Apollo mission. There was Michael Collins, there was Buzz Aldrin. They were actually the ones that flew this space vehicle to space. And Neil Armstrong was their commander, was the one that first landed. And Michael Collins was also with him that walked on the moon. But were they actually the first people in space? No. Long, long, long back to April 12, 1961, a man from the Soviet Union, Yuri Gagarin, was actually the first man to orbit around Earth. So we can actually say probably he's the one that was first in space. And he orbited around the Earth around for about 108 minutes, which is quite fascinating. And he came back to Earth. Now this landing on the moon actually till today is still controversy. Some people actually feel that the landing on the moon was actually wrong, that America is not the first person or first country to land on the moon. And well, I, I'm not coming to say anything new that will make you believe or make you doubt whatever happened then. But for me, I believe because the explanations, the questions that were asked as to why the flag was flapping and all of that were actually answered with reasonable explanations. And to me, I feel I can believe it, but it's... Now, coming to the facts about space travel, there are actually some juicy, interesting facts that people don't actually know about space travel. But before I even go to the facts, there's something we all have to know. That is the most common space agency, NASA, the National um, Aeronautics and Space Administration. That's an American agency that is interested in space missions and research relating to space, actually. One of the first and interesting facts to talk about is actually the spacesuit these astronauts actually wear. It's actually a lot heavy. It's a very, very heavy spacesuit and weighs about 280 pounds. That's, that's, that's interesting. And for an astronaut to actually wear this suit completely, it takes him or her 45 good minutes. Like, are you kidding me? 45 minutes to wear a particular suit? Seriously? interesting fact is actually sleeping in space and you know they're actually astronauts in space in space stations and all of that and how do they actually sleep do they have um, a bed or pillows and all of that but the fact is that they actually have a uh, space pajamas or something they actually use to sleep which is also floating and they don't need pillows or some other coverings and all of that because it's actually zero gravity and then they are actually literally suspending air with their head and everything and they take a nap or sleep lastly about the facts quickly i want to talk about the most expensive object ever made i actually saw this um on someone's status earlier like some few or a month ago i saw it on the president of the um, scholarship students in russia actually he posted a video of the international space station and all the countries and the astronauts that are actually inside it and it was actually very very fascinating and then i wanted to read about it actually this object was made with um 
120 billion dollars and it was made between different countries and the space agency in different countries like um, nasa the space agency in america they was also from canada they was also from this jaxa the one from japan and um there's also Ross cosmos the one from russia and all of that so they came together and actually built this space station it's actually in low orbit around the earth and you can actually see they say you can actually search um you can actually search on google for your particular position or where you live and when the international space station is going to orbit over you and then you can actually see it in the down or a little bit in the evening and you see it as a a little glowing light moving around and it's actually fascinating i think i'm going to try and see if i can actually see it and before i move to the benefits we also need to actually talk about the food uh, what did actually these astronauts what do they actually eat in space and it's actually funny because these people their food are actually pre-cooked or preserved and you can imagine staying for long in space and everything you're going to eat is actually pre-cooked or processed and in this sense you just have to add water or do some little little things to actually make it ready to eat and some of their vegetables are actually fresh vegetables are actually kept in some place and they don't actually refrigerate any food in space they don't actually refrigerate any food in space so sometimes when they bring some cargo and there's carrot and some other perishable vegetables they actually have to eat it as fast as a day or a day after because it's after then it's actually going to spoil and that's a very very big trouble because even in this Russia, I'm suffering with food and going to space, <laughs> food will be my number one problem, food. Finally, to the benefits and quickly, actually, space travel or space science, I've actually, I've actually done a lot of benefits to human. And it's actually very, very interesting studying about some things that I didn't know is actually relating to space travel or space science at all. And one of the first most important benefits to actually talk about brought to us by space travel and space science is actually maps or GPS and all of that and the use of satellite and communication. Actually, it's very, very fascinating to me because I'm able to control my drone. Thanks to Bernard for actually buying me this drone. I'm very, very grateful. It's an investment into my interest in technology. And for me to be able to actually control my drone or make it know it's position and even know where it is at a particular point in time and direct it and all of that is actually due to this gps and some software that were created by developers relating to space science and space travel another thing i want to talk about is um how space travel and space science is actually related to medicine that actually helped us in a lot of ways but i'm going to highlight two or three big importance of actually space travel in medicine the first one is actually the benefit of us being able to operate on some particular tumors now there are actually some particular tumors that normally human cannot operate on or surgeons cannot actually get to due to the position due to the size or anything at all so there are some actually inoperable um, tumors but now due to space travel and space science and creation uh, creation of robots and all of that we're actually able to operate on this specific or particular tumors to bring about longevity of the life of man the second one i'm actually going to talk about is the creation of vaccines you know this international space station that's actually orbiting around it is actually a big laboratory where they carry out research biology physics and all of that and due to these researches we're able to actually create some specific vaccines for some specific bacteria viruses and all of that and to help us or keep us from particular sickness or out break of diseases and finally the one i'm going to talk about is actually laser technology laser technology is um, a surgery that actually carried out to correct people's eye defect or eyesight and all of that and this laser technology was actually at first created to help astronauts actually balance themselves balance the reference of their eyes cause it's actually in zero gravity and it's possible for a lot of things to go wrong when you're in zero gravity and all of that so this technology was created for astronauts to be able to guide their reference and balance their body but eventually we're using it in medicine today to correct people's eyesight and that's very very interesting and that's very very fascinating one of the other benefits of space travel space science is actually purification or access to clean water and we know in our lives today wherever you are ever even if it's in the desert even if it is the coolest place you need Need water to actually survive and sometimes some people don't have access to clean water and they just have to drink dirty water that can actually be harmful to their health but due to some um, studies in space science and space travel and technologies and all that we actually created for space science and space travel 
it's actually now possible for us at some risky areas or some risky times for us to actually get access or methods to purify water you know to the extent to which water body is actually pure finally i can't actually live without talking about weather forecast so we're actually able to know about tomorrow or weather for about a week to come due to satellite actually orbiting around the earth and knowing what is going to happen and all of that and we can actually guess today it's going to rain today it's not going to rain due to some weather forecast and weather apps that are actually on our phones and our devices helping us to get through about our day-to-day -day life so that's been it i'm very very grateful for you guys for the last video that is almost reaching 500 views if you have not watched it make sure you go and check it it should be somewhere up there and make sure you check it if you like this video please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe down there and if you know anyone that's actually interested in space travel well, which i feel a lot of people should actually be or everyone should actually know something or a little thing about space travel this video was just brought to you a summary of everything that you might want to know or the basic stuff about space travel and don't forget to drop in the comment section if there's anything you're actually interested about that you might want me to talk about don't forget to drop it down in the comment section of course i'm going to reply you and i'm going to give it a like and of course it's possible you are featured on this channel or your topic is actually talked about so that's been it thank you guys very much and catch you guys very very soon in the next video peace